Do you want to win this new torch mount called the Armadillo made by Mike Peterson? Watch the video till the end and I'll show you how to do it. I'm super excited to have Mike Peterson back in the studio this week and he made this amazing new product. He calls it the Armadillo and it's a torch mount that is an articulating arm that goes up and down. It can go side to side. It's totally amazing. And I'm really excited to share with you guys how Mike came up with this design and how it works. Watch the video till the end and I'll tell you how to win one of these armadillos for your studio. I also wanted to let you guys know that right now on revereglass.com, there's a garage sale of some of my extra equipment that's been in my studio and it can definitely find new use and new love in somebody else's studio. So go check out revereglass.com to the garage sale. And while you're there, make sure you sign up for the class that's free for all members, any level of subscription. You can come and hang out with us on Wednesdays and we're doing pipe making one. It doesn't matter if you've watched the first few classes or not, just come and hang out and I'm happy to help you with your journey to the glass. Both of those things are on revereglass.com. If you guys decide to order one of these, please use the discount code REVEREGLASS and you'll get a discount. So yeah, here we are back. I'm excited about this, Mike. This is this is a game changer and I didn't even realize it until this was really here. So tell me, what's well, going on? When, when I started the project, it was all specifically for the lathe. I had just started to learn to use the lathe and ideas started flowing. And I thought of it as, as totally a lathe uh, accessory. And then as I started working with other glass workers, other testers, it became apparent that it's a bench tool too. Yeah, it's amazing, like the amount of range now. So like, this is probably my normal working height and this is my normal standing. So I have everything here, like I did in a much cleaner, smoother environment so I can move this back and forth. For a torch mount, all it needs is friction but it needs good friction. The goal is to be as effortless as possible to move when you want to move it, and then when you let go, it holds position. There were probably six or seven prototypes on my lathe, just with my personal use, and then kind of got confident enough to think that, hey, you know, this, this actually might be a product. This actually might have some, some broader appeal. Yeah, it's just really important for a creator, um, somebody who's making a lot of things like, and especially if you don't have a lot of space, I think we all find ourselves in that situation <laughs> where we have not that much space to do a lot of creative stuff. And so like, you know, if let's say I'm gonna make some dichroic tubing and I need to slice my dichroic. Well, now I can just move this out of the way. Now obviously, you know, it can go here, we can adjust the lines but now I can open up my whole space. So I have more of a desk and a workspace. Maybe I need to do some computer work on my laptop, you know? Maybe I wanna use the table, you know, clearing up that space and adding all this movement and ability for like basically approximately the same price as something um, that's okay, it did the job, but like somebody put a lot of thought into this. Somebody put a lot of thought into this. <laughs> I'm very excited about it. I think that it, it's going in a really good direction and I can see it, it being a very useful beginning to an entire family of modular products. Products and, you know, anybody out there that wants to make stuff, make stuff. It, it should be the seed yeah. of lots of ideas. Mm -hmm. Now Mike is gonna show us how to set one of these up on the lathe because it's a little different than the bench. Please make sure to go check out Mike's video on the complete installation of the armadillo on his channel. We'll link that in the description. Okay, so Dustin has kindly volunteered to be one of my earlier testers on one of the prototype versions of the Torch armadillo. And so now it's time to remove the work in progress uh, prototype and replace it with the first production version which is nicely anodized and somewhat nicer put together. Attachment to a regular flat horizontal tabletop is pretty easy. It's three screws. The, the, the rail has many, many screw holes in it. And probably for some applications, putting a screw in every hole is required, but for this application, for using as a glass working tool, I find that, you know, three screws, four screws is enough. So let's take off 
the old version here. The design of this thing is all based on friction. And of course, when I come up with a frictional system, I try to make it nice friction. I try to make it feel really nice. And more importantly, trying to make it so it's easy to move, but when you let go, it locks in place. And getting that kind of careful balance of friction where you have enough friction, but not too much. You don't want it to feel herky-jerky. You don't want it to have a lot of breakaway friction before, when you first apply force. You want it to have a nice, smooth feel, as effortless as possible, but then when you let go, you want it to hold position. This first version is optimized for the GTT torch. And I've had uh, a number of requests from glass workers for, well, what happens if I have a different torch? And that's, you know, future developments will continue. But for a GTT torch, the torch has a quarter inch hole, a flat plate, and then this little kind of set of gear teeth around the outside. And I got a little pin right there and a matching hole so that the two line up conveniently like that. Then Teflon washers. And one of the problems that sometimes occurs when designing systems that have friction on them is when you have a screw going into a rotary joint and every time you move it, you tend to unscrew the screw. And so the design here has been done with a retaining plate and a pin so that the screw is squeezing on the retaining plate so there's no force acting to unscrew the screw when the, the torch is moved up and down. There has to be clearance for the hoses, which is why the handle has a spacer, so you have clearance for your hoses. It's a sandwich. It all goes together with a fine threaded screw. So between the screw head and the piece of aluminum are a couple of Belleville washers. You get a high force spring that, that activates over a very short distance. Belleville uh, washers can generate hundreds of pounds of force. It provides a lot of possibility for really fine, gentle adjustment of friction. So you can dial in the friction for exactly what you want it to be. And you can probably see how the, how the sandwich works here, where I've got the uh, the plate with anti-rotation pin, the Teflon washer, the torch, the adapter that connects the torch to the handle, another Teflon washer, and the block that connects to the vertical shaft. So now, of course, this can be adjusted once everything is finally assembled. This is a kind of a standard industrial linear bearing. Now, one of the things, this is not super tricky, but it's something that you need to be aware of, that if you look inside, you see that there's a, a couple of rows of little bearing balls, and I'm removing the little plastic keeper. The keeper keeps the balls from falling out. They're not gonna, I mean, it's not it's like super, precarious where if you shake it the balls all fall out but you got to be careful when installing one of these bearings so the proper method for installing a bearing is to have its little plastic keeper in place and then line it up there's a rubber seal here that you have to kind of like finesse the rail into the seal. The seal is acting as a kind of a wiper that wipes any debris off of the precision machined uh, guide rail. So the first thing you do, and everything about this has to be done slow and careful, that you first maneuver the leading edge of the rail into the kind of rubber wiper 
and then very carefully just finesse the bearing into place. If it feels like it's binding, if it feels like it's crooked, stop and think about it and realign and do whatever is necessary. It should slide on very nicely and neatly. Once the bearing has been put on, four mounting screws. I strongly recommend that anybody who needs to deal with socket head screws or anything else that has a hex drive, get yourself some T-handle drivers. Those, the kind of like Swiss Army knife, pocket knife kind of hex drivers that where the text things fold out, eh, those are no good. This is a similar design to the design at the torch head. We have a fine pitch screw. This is a quarter 28 fine pitch screw. Fairly healthy, stiff Belleville washers. You have a steel ring, a couple of little Teflon washers. And when you tighten these screws, it's possible to have really nice control over friction. And because the axle as it rotates is not exerting any kind of force on the screws, pretty good chance the screws are gonna stay put and the friction is gonna be maintained while it's being used. And I still offer in the price list for those who don't need the adjustability, I do offer the fixed version as an option, but the adjustable version now has balancing springs to take the weight of the torch and the hoses and a nice orange handle to lock it in place for easy and convenient repositioning. It really is a fairly simple device. There has been a lot of thought that's gone into it, especially in regards to making friction that feels good and maintains its good feeling over use. So there we have it, the Torch Armadillo. If you guys wanna write Mike a message, he's on Facebook, he's also um, in the, the group on the Torch. You yes. can definitely um, send him a message there. And there's often, if uh, these kind of updates in that group on the torch where Mike is posting his YouTube videos, which you guys should definitely check out and other sort of developments. So make sure you join that Facebook group and um, you can see what's going on too a little closer, a little behind the scenes. Well, you guys, in my opinion, this is one of the most amazing tools available and it's so affordable comparatively. This is definitely one of my new favorite tools and I can't say enough good things about it. It's pretty amazing. The engineering that went into it, the amount of versatility that this thing has, I love it. And I have one on my lathe and I have one on my bench. And I think that once you use it, it's going to be difficult to go back because it has so much versatility. If you guys decide to order one of these, please use the discount code REVEREGLASS and you'll get a discount. If you want to win this armadillo, one for the lathe or one for the bench, please make sure you like and subscribe, of course, comment on the video and share the video. Next week, in the next video, we're gonna announce the winner along with a very special tool collaboration. So for last video, we made a reef martini glass and I'm super excited to make another one for the ST glass. Thank you for watching the videos. Thank you for being part of this journey with us. And I'm really happy that I get to make you a reef martini glass. Hit me up and we'll make it happen.